Do you like standing in a queue for your vegetables? Or do you think it's tiring and a waste of valuable time? Do you ever find your long wait has been useless, that supplies of what you want have run out before your turn comes? It's not the greengrocer's fault, it's up to you. Dig for victory. Thousands of people have discovered that a 10 rod plot will keep a family of five in vegetables eight months of the year. Young men are doing it. These London AFS men are filling in their waiting periods like this. And young women, these girls are using part of their lunch hour to work on plots in their own factory grounds. Old men, even at 83. And children, growing food is part of their school routine nowadays. For they know that food is just as important a weapon of war as guns. Have you joined the ranks of this great new army that's helping to win the war by helping themselves to good food? You may not be lucky enough to own an ideal kitchen garden like this, but the flower garden will grow beetroot just as well as begonias. And it's more fashionable too nowadays. There may be room for vegetables on top of your Anderson shelter, or in the backyard, or even on that flat bit of roof. Even the asphalt playground of a bombed out school has been turned into a flourishing allotment. So you see, you can nearly always find somewhere to dig. You know, it only takes an hour or two a week to keep a ten rod plot cultivated, and you can all lend a hand, women and children too. Perhaps you're only making excuses. Perhaps the real trouble is you think gardening's a bore. We're going to watch an old hand for a few minutes, and if you get any pleasure out of watching his skill, you'll get a lot more in learning how to do a good job yourself. Digging simple enough if you don't try and lift the whole allotment in one spadeful. Cut off just as much as your spade will lift. Drive the spade in with your foot. Then, over it goes just where you want it. And for goodness sake, keep your spade clean. Follow these tips and choose your company and you'll find that digging can be good fun. The exciting time comes when the first seeds must be sown. The ground must be level, and it must have what gardeners call a fine tilth. And the old hand treads the ground to fill up any hollows. Finally, an iron rake gives you the fine tilth that the seeds want. That's one of the pleasures of gardening, using the right tool for the job and using it in the right way. To make the seed drills, a hoe is the tool. Use it in short strokes to throw the soil clear. Tread on the line to make sure your hoe doesn't shift it. And this is the proper way to cover the seeds in the drill. You're sure to be planting potatoes, so remember, as soon as the sets arrive, Place them out in shallow boxes and keep them somewhere that's frost-proof and light. Then you won't get these spindly overgrown horrors, but short, healthy shoots like this. By the way, you can economize by cutting big seed in half. The proper tool for covering in the trenches is your foot, and then the hoe to finish off. Finally, fork between the rows to let air into the ground. Now to our onions. The seedlings should be lifted with a fork, and planted in their permanent quarters with a trowel. You use a fork for lifting cabbages and plant them with a dibber like this. While you lift leeks with a spade and plant them with a dibber. You see, there's a proper tool for every job. And they needn't be expensive, especially if you borrow them from the man next door. A draw hoe is best for fairly widely spaced crops, but a hand hoe is ideal when you're working with plants close together. And when it comes to the wide open spaces between rows, a Dutch hoe is the thing. And remember, you use it walking backwards. 
the finest tools a gardener can possibly use are his own two hands. Take a few tips like these from the old gardeners and you'll soon be growing your own tomatoes, peas that melt in the mouth, carrots that will be a revelation, potatoes at your service whenever you want them, and cabbages fit for a king. There's a bit of ground waiting for you somewhere. And surely, isn't an hour in the garden better than an hour in the queue? <laughs>